Hello, and welcome. This is going to be the third episode of the how to quote unquote speed run casually. The Elden Ring item and enemy randomizer. Just got through gargoyles. Um, recording this actually just after the previous episode. I figure though, probably kind of want to break them up. Not have, you know, too long of an episode. Also, I don't know how it'll do for the stability of the file if it gets too large. But yeah, proceeding along in deep root. Watching as enemies take damage falling from the ceiling. And fortunately, it does not seem. Oh, what the? F oh. Okay. The list down below. Okay, I. Guess we have our answer as to what we're. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna leave these people be. They can enjoy their time. But yeah, typically I like to go to that section if possible. Because it's, I mean, a lot of those enemies drop items. But. I don't really have good ranged options right now, so... Um, we'll go for the purple. Uh oh. Ooh. Lobsters. Ow! Ooh. Okay. Man, still just checking on my OBS for a sec, making sure that it's actually recording. And yeah, Mingle here will be getting to Einzel. Sometimes the enemies in that area will start fighting one another for some reason. I don't know if that is a thing on this current patch. It can be kind of nice because you just avoid having to uh, kill them yourself, or at least kill some of them yourself. Now I'm gonna head up there. Um, I don't think I don't know if I've ever gotten a key item from Thea's champs. Shit. There we go. Yeah. Um, but better to have the grease than not, I suppose, right? Getting plenty of plenty of fours. Tall whites. We can actually poke our head in there and see. We should be able to see what the boss is. If, it, if we can't, it's Moog. I'm going to go for it. Just because got a lot of heals, so we should be able to deal with the heal. This is real Moog, I believe.
And I think because we're standing in water, we have higher fire resistance. Oh, hello. well so far. No. Okay, it's it's sewer mode. Now. I mean sewer mode is nice. We'll take sewer mode. Should do it. Okay. See, yeah, I don't know if I really get key items from this one. Unfortunately. So now, go back down here. We're gonna head into Einzel. Grab these items over here. Yeah, where are my where are my Smith and Stone fives at? Interesting. I guess we know what's up ahead, don't we? Wolnir. Discount Wolnir. Uh, oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh my god. Okay. really hoping not to ag aggro the hand. Oh, shit. Oh, man, dude. We're just gonna, we're gonna move on. Some interesting enemy combinations here. Oh, that was that was all my mistiming. And we're gonna go down this way.
this way are the merchants. No. No. I love that they made Dragonkin a regular enemy. We're gonna run up and get this item real quick. It is not normal, I feel like, to get aggro. Uh, okay, I'm not seeing him. Hopefully it... I continue not seeing him. stuff off the edge. I thought... Huh. I thought that guy dropped something. I guess not. Okay. What have you got? Thorny? Opaline? I mean, yeah, I used to love Opaline, but um, I definitely don't view it as good as it used to be, because just considering the, the buff, of, it's essentially for one singular hit. It's not the worst, but... Let's see, what do we need? I'm gonna pop you. And you. Because we're gonna go over there and try and grab some items. Just, uh, there's just a lot of fun enemies here, right there. Ow, please don't. Please stop. Ooh, I'm still breathing. We do have the Mog Mogwin Sacred Spear, which is good. Um, quite good, in all honesty. So I can't commit to that, but it is kind of slow. I don't know what it is with the Mogwin one specifically. I kind of don't like the uh, the R2. Crimson Sea, that's actually not bad at all. So after this, that's not a tall white, but 
Oh, honestly, I mean, I might equip you for now. Who are we dealing with? My car. Um, yeah, this should be fine. I mean, I know somebody had the, uh, no. please don't. Ow. It is kind of fortunate this arena is in the water for an extra little Ow. extra bonus against the car and his fire. check here I think we'll see wow very worthwhile actually I'm super glad we did that <laughs> oh boy we need one more great room so I'm gonna go to knock Stella now Outside of May normal Moog, um, we now essentially are able to uh, commit to a fire based weapon. Um, fire is quite useful. Um, you can come into fire and magic pretty easily. Because uh, there's, I believe, no more main bosses that are resistant to either. There are lightning resistant bosses. Gotta hope. I know Previously, I've crashed in Noxtella because uh, there's a lot of enemies in Noxtella because of all of the uh, oh boy, all of the like little. Silver Tears. Oh, love wart. Okay. The fortunate thing. that that bird should not be able to follow us in here. I'm not really going to worry about that. Scaled Greaves. Not bad. Okay, I guess there's a lobster in that room. We're not going in. Tree Spear. Not a great weapon, I but it, I find it to be pretty fun. Oh, hey.
Now that is a great spear that I do like the uh, the double hit. R2. I'm sure as many of you can hear, I'm actually playing on a keyboard and mouse, but the lingo remains. It's not an R2 for me, but... R2 is easy lingo to use. The reason we go this way... Oh, there's a bird in there. Uh, I'm glad I did not stick around in that room. The reason we go this way is because there is a tree here. Falling Star Beast Shot. If this was a few patches ago, that would have been majorly good news. Uh, yeah, we'll deal with these guys. Ow. Dude, this... I don't know, dude. I could commit to other weapons, but this... The only reason to would be just because of the lack of smithing stones. Even with the uh, one smithing stone per upgrade, like, not having a set for sure location for a type can be kind of limiting, but... I mean, this thing has been pretty sweet, in all honesty. I like halberds, and then you add a bleed on top of it, and it's just like... Whoa. No great urn here either, man. Rolled medallion, yo, okay. It works, it works. Worth. Worth the time. so we can level up again. More damage, always nice. Now does this... Oh, it does affect... It affects your HP. So I'm, I'm good off that. I generally don't use the crowns. Oh, hey. Virtue seal. More money. Generally don't use the crowns unless I am a dedicated mage. Really depends on the build. But since I'm not a dedicated mage, I'm not going to. Fia's hood will serve me just fine. And we're just going to book it. Straight line, baby. You should have enough heals to make it. Tend to cut a little wide because if you have to use stamina here, it's not ideal. Okay, yeah, I, 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 I that healed a lot more than I thought it would. <laughs> Keep forgetting how. They found quite a few sacred tears, which is very nice. Yeah, what good are the platforms for, really? 
Oh, honesty, the randomizer kind of made me, again, was the point at which I realized you really don't need it to deal with the platforms whatsoever or spells. Like, if anything, I think the spells just end up taking more time because you're just stopping every few steps to maybe not take a little bit of damage when you can frequently make it here, no problem. Oh, look at Falling Star. Well, not a malformed star. We're gonna poke our head into Astel, but I'm not. We'll see if we can hang with it. Because Astel is pretty late game scaling. It's kind of unfortunate that this thing's here because it would prevent us from staying in this area for too long. Ooh, but we need these items. Pillars. More larval tears. Two larval tears, even. Oh boy. Okay, bring on Estelle. I'm not really sure at what point Estelle is supposed to be scaled for, but it seems like post Morgoth to me. Oh boy. Now, thankfully, Rykard is actually pretty damn easy. And if you have Serpent Hunter. Hit him in his face. I guess he can't summon the... Skulls? I don't know. But yeah, just because you can get right up next to them, they're usually pretty easy. Nothing good again. That's uh, unfortunate. You don't actually need this grace, so I'm kind of pointlessly running over to it now, realizing that I need a little bit of time because there's nothing beyond Rikard. damage and yeah I mean I guess at this point we should probably go to Volcano Manor uh, so we'll go there yeah, this has been interesting um, I mean after this I think mourn the church um, I'll probably take less time to go to the church. Ow, stop it. Please. Oh boy. Yeah, please just stay there. So 
And you just have to wait a little bit, but then, uh, and unless it's changed. Should be able to just do this. And this should take you to Volcano Manor. You don't have to die to that guy over there. And it definitely worked. It's loading it up. Ah. We are in Volcano Mena. Now the unfortunate thing about this though... Oh boy. Is uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm just not even gonna bother. Fuck all that. There's no guarantee those will be good items. There's a lot of uh, kind of pain in the ass enemies over there. So I'm just gonna go this way. I really don't like those Albinorics. Oh, fuck. I mean, on theme enemy, but. Do not want to have to deal with you, sir. What's in here? Grank, my old boy. Yeah, I'm not too concerned. I would normally grab a grace here, but in all honesty, I think it's faster to skip that. Um, And just kill him. If you're very unsure if you will survive. Hey, you can't run away as far, can you? Okay, this is, this is kind of funny. Staggers? Stagger? Peace. There we go. And I got the bleed. Another golden seed. Oh boy, the Malakip goo is lagging my ass. This has been kind of brutal, in all honesty. Like, relative to. I don't think I've gotten so far to so many places in a long time. I mean, it's been a while since I've done a randomizer ride, but even still, this is kind of unusual. And here comes. Thank God it's easy. This area, if there are rune bearers, is a nightmare. I've had a rune bear and a crow here, and it was just me beating my head against the wall for oh shit, uh, for quite some time, just trying to trying to get past this bridge. Um, okay, but we got Rikard coming up, so. I'm optimistic. I always forget to use the roll uh, uh, shortcut kind of thing. Time save, I guess. You, you were gonna throw.
He was going to throw one of those annoying magic pots, the faux sorceries. I feel like these bears are the most, like, harmless things. I mean, they're bears. They should be pretty terrifying, but they're... Honestly, not too, too scary, thankfully. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna beeline for whatever's in the right guard, because it's a key location. Mm, it's a small white item. I'm not interested. Let's see what we're dealing with. I mean, we haven't seen Plassey or a Dragonkin, unfortunately, yet, or fucking Gideon. Or Red Wolf. I mean, I'm okay with Red Wolf. That was weird. It's nice in a big arena to fight this guy, because... That attack... It's so much easier to avoid if you have room to run in. What did I just hear? That was... okay. Um. Oh boy, okay. Hey, uh... My god, the healing. Yeah, that was kind of badass that this thing broke it. the tricky part. Oh, there he is. Hi. took long enough. We might still have to scale the mountain, unfortunately. Um, but that's fine. I don't know.
just realized Enya will now have something to give me, but it's usually not worth it. Because it's just... Oh my... No, hey, hey, hey. Whoa. Great. I'm glad I spent 9k earlier getting a spinning a stick 6 when there was one literally right there. Oh boy. Oh well. Those things happen. And another... <laughs> Uh, oh well, no big deal. No millennia yet, no guards. Uh, what is this deal? Standard and pierce. Pierce? How the hell is this thing gonna pierce you without, I mean, outside of the, the pointy tips of the serrated saw edge, but... I'm assuming they mean that when you do a thrusting attack, it's pierce. Oh my god. Seven. Okay. Uh, it might almost be time to commit. Because, I mean, we're almost out of merchants. I don't know, though, dude. I don't really like most of my somber weapons enough. Like, Hey. I'll take a black knife assassin. Draconic assassin. How did I miss? are honestly pretty easy to body. It takes practice, but... Especially if you can stagger them, they just... Capital. We can basically, what we should do now, at this point, is make a beeline for the end of the game. At some point we should just commit to a another somber weapon. I'll probably do that after Lane Dell, because we have... Uh, oh my god, I'm so close to getting a level up. I hate, I hate when I'm just, like, super duper close. But yeah, we're just going to make a beeline. for the end of the game. Probably commit to a Sabre weapon after that and get some extra levels so I can support it. Um, I mean, Bloodhound Fang is looking pretty good um, of the weapons I have. Mogwins is good, but um, I kind of prefer Silurius personally. Just because of the Ash of War. I mean, this guy will aggro. That's... Let's just move on. There we go. But the reason I'm happy this head does standard damage this weapon, too, is because, uh, the gargoyles. Um, honestly, randomizer made me hate gargoyles far more than I, they really deserve in the base game. But in this mod, oh boy, they are uh, they can be very painful in their late game. And we haven't seen them so far, so I'm not overly optimistic. And I know there's there's a faster skip where you can hop down. I still don't... I've tried to 
to learn it on keyboard and mouse. Oh, we have a couple of those now. Hey. So we can actually, I guess, if we get lucky, we can respec. Oh, I need to remember too. Um, What the hell is that? Pretty sure that's a uh, revenant. Yeah, it is, isn't it? hate those things. Everybody does. So, purple. Man. Normally, I like to actually go over there, because there's a few items you can go grab, but um, for the sake of speed and Seven. Ooh, purple. Wait, what am I? Oh, it's a golem down below. Well, we have larval tears out the ass today. Yeah. I think two Saluria's levels better with f strength, anyways. Um, and the main thing we're probably—I mean, Ash of War, regardless—we're probably going to mainly be using it for uh, not for the Ash of War. Have I picked? Oh my God! I've had a five this whole time. Okay, well. After this grace, I'm going to go back to round table. I think I'm... I, uh, okay, I was like, wait, did I pick up a part of the uh, Halig Tree Medallion? But I did not, so... So what we're going to do is upgrade this halberd. Let's see if you have anything useful. I mean, crackpot, I'll take crackpot. I don't have any other equipment of champions. So these are eats, except Moog is not eat. I still only have two talisman pouches, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna get this up as high as. Oh. Oh, we need more money. I'll commit. Plus 25. So now we should have no issues. Yeah, raw melee weapons are good. I mean, it would be great if um, we came across the, you know, obviously uh, the proper wet stone. Uh, oh, of course. Um, I'm 
It'd be great if we came across the proper whetstone to make it dex, you know, a keen weapon. Um, but as it stands, it's okay, you know. Um, and I mean, I've used Bloodhound Fang. I, I, my concern with Bloodhound Fang is late game gargoyles because of uh, slash damage versus standard. Oh boy. What are we dealing with here? Not clear. No, not this guy. And we have a good start. Oh my. That damage though, holy fuck. I really don't like this guy. Alright, yeah, buff up. Not expect to dodge that properly. Uh oh. So I fully expect the floor to still pop up after that. <laughs> okay. Well, that went better than expected, frankly. Honestly, too, you don't always need... You gotta be kidding me. I'm like a hundred off. Ugh. I mean, the fact that I can't see Placidious Axe from here is a little bit comforting. Can I wear better armor at this point? I can't. Yo. Alright, we're gonna have to say goodbye to the Willem Dafoe face, but. Since I don't have any defensive talismans, which is also kind of painful, or really defensive buffs, you kind of have to lean on your armor. Like, even in a speedrun, I try to. Oh boy. I can try and grab a, you know, you can grab a defensive buff talisman. Like, one of the best ones of the game, at least towards the end of the game. Um, although I have a plus 25 weapon, so I'm not too... Oh, it's Fire Giant. Fuck. I guess it has been a while. I mean, we haven't seen a Fire Giant yet, but... At least it's a less annoying version of Fire... Well, kind of, at least... I did not realize he got that off. 
What the f- That is cheating. He's, he's, his foot is completely outside of the arena. Again, oh, the same thing twice. Oh, well. it worked out. Another smithing stone nine, and we have the drawing room key. I mean, I don't know how we would have gotten that otherwise. Um. Eighty nine K. Just not as much as more got. Then we'll talk to you. Hello again, old friend. Allow me you are blah 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 become my purpose, so I'd like to the flame then. What's she gonna give me? Oh, a great rune, yo, okay, I'll take it. Thank you. You're just holding on to that shit? Oh, another level two. Yeah, I'm sticking with my current weapon until I have a need to change it, in all honesty. Uh, I'm not going to go down to the sewers unless I have to, just because uh, I don't know the skip. And it doesn't honestly seem too common that... Um, There are great runes down there. And we don't necessarily need anything other than the great runes at this point, so. And we have three. Uh, so we really just need to make a beeline to the end of the game currently. Uh, we'll stop at the merchant on the way there in the mountaintops. So unless I find something like a uh, blasphemous blade or you know, I'm gonna just kinda stick to it. Hey. This bad boy is actually pretty fun. 55 bleed buildup, I mean. Yeah, I'll put my head over here. There can be and has been good items over here before. I am concerned though, we still haven't seen Godskin duo. Um, the Valiant Gargoyles. Uh, Placidious Axe, I'm not as concerned about as I used to be. Again, that's kind of where the randomizer... I, I would avoid Placidious X normally. And this is kind of something that I do appreciate about this, is that, I mean, despite the fact that I, you know, might have an opinion about a boss, you know, from the first several playthroughs and just avoid them, like, I was, I would avoid Placidious X normally. Um, I avoid Fortress X, I'll maintain. I still don't like that fight, randomizer or no, but it'll, it, you know, it forces you to fight bosses and... Uh, figure out how to deal with them. Sometimes harder versions of them. I mean, I'll take it. Yeah, I'm just running. The fact that those flowers can, like, explode this just cracks me up. Let's see, I swear you should have something worthwhile. For once, please have something worthwhile. Not the worst thing I've gotten from that. 
Honestly, probably one of the better things I've ever gotten from that. It's usually something completely useless, like cotton. Yeah, I'm not even sure how long we are in this right now. Three hours and 45 minutes, so we're not exactly speeding along, so to speak. Like, this will definitely not be a best time for me, for the randomizer. That's fine, too. I mean, I'm rusty. It's been a little bit. Um, despite getting early, we're done. Like, I haven't... I don't know. It, part of part of what takes those best time to things, at least for me, is... You know, you find the Blasphemous Blade immediately. Or your starting character has... Like I said before, I, I had a... As with my starting class, I had Ants for Rapier and... Um, Dragon Scale Blade. Which are solid weapons. So I just didn't even need to look around. Oh my god, I was not sure where that would drop. Uh, yeah, those are solid weapons. So you just... I just stuck with them through the whole game. And... I think also got kind of lucky. I mean, you, you basically also have to get kind of lucky with the RNG of... Oh shit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's the first time I've landed that jump cleanly. Great rune, please. Yes! That tree frequently has great runes. Um, it's frustrating. Uh, I always recommend too. Like if you can't find Rolled's medallion, if you get rolled like to this point, oh shit! You will want to grab this grace up here. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh shit! Um, but if you can't find Rolled's, I recommend coming here anyways, because um, there's a good chance that if you can't find rolls, it's at that tree. Um, that tree frequently has very good drops as far as the key items go. Um, and I scoured the map one time looking everywhere for rolled medallion and I was like, there's no way it's on that tree and sure enough it was on that tree and then was several times after that again. But thankfully I would check because yeah, that was, it's nothing... It's more frustrating in a randomizer when you're like, man, where do I need to check still? Yeah, and there's still a lot of areas we haven't checked. Um, like, uh, Elmer of the Briar is one of the key item locations for some reason. I have no idea why he is. I mean, he's a main boss, I guess, but it's just... And I frequently, if, let's see if it still happens. I usually get an item drop here randomly. Like something dies and then it drops an item. Or at least it used to. I'm guessing not. Oh, there it is. I usually think, too, it's worthwhile to check these items. And we just got a ton of smithing stone nines. Like, how many do I have? Hold on. I have three. Okay, not a ton. Wait, whoa. Do I have an eight? I do not have eight. I have zero eights. Okay, that's not a good item. Obviously, you're not going to get sniped at. Um, and what's partially nice about that, too, is that then you can uh, hit these items down here. And look, there's even a legendary.
but it's just close. Okay. Now these greaves. Knock out this guy in the vain attempt. I hope that he drops a somber eight. Cause that's what he normally drops, but I guess he dropped the map to the, I think, the Glintstone key. Oh boy, I lag there. That's yeah, a good little, I mean, I remember on a casual playthrough, I was like, oh, farming spot. Uh, my first time doing a randomizer. I just stand up and sit down there and I would get like 14k, I think, on that particular run. It's kind of wild. The stuff, something was just dropping that was like, oh, something's lagging over here. I found that one of the enemies that remains kind of laggy is uh, the octopus. The octopi. Oh wow. Hey yo, I mean, we have another somber nine. It's gotta be worth something. So we're coming this way so that we can hit the merchant first. Just in case. Um, and it would be nice. They have a talisman pouch, they do not. They have a regular spin they make 500. Uh, I'll take that, I don't really... Sure. I think it's just a flat amount, right? For the favor. I don't think it's a percentage base, which does make it as good, but... Increased equip load is not bad. We'll have to see how we're handling the damage here. And, uh... Yeah. My general strategy, too, for, um... post getting to the end of the game if you can get to the end of the game this early sometimes you you have to go a longer route you have to go to like the halig tree first to even get the rolled medallion you know um so no real guarantees with what the path might precisely be um I tend to go to the later game areas that have the least path of resistance to a key item. Uh, so, like, Castle Soul is a good spot to check because it's late game, so the bias, that 50% bias, will favor that that has a good item there. Um, and it's pretty quick. I mean, you can, you can get to Nile really quickly. Um, so it's worthwhile to just go to spots like that or like the I, I tend to I think generally speaking it is a little bit more weighted towards it being the key item locations not being like trees and stuff uh, I think it, it feels like it's more weighted towards being bosses at least in the past um, so the stuff that's the least out of the way uh, will be the key to going quickly There's obviously a skip here where you can go over that way, but the, um, huh, oh, yeah, okay, there's a Jula? No, it looks like, uh, oh, it's, it's a Glintstone Dragon, I think, but they don't, won't pop out in front of you, so you'll just be riding in the fog. But because there's a church here, it is a key item location as well as the church uh, 
right before Fire Giant. And there's also a tree, a golden, you know, phantom tree. Before Fire Giant. And you want to hit all of those locations. Yeah, just proceed along this route, generally speaking. I mean, I would, um, on other runs, I mean, I'm realizing now that, like, I was trying to... I thought that killing stuff in the way would save time. Like, I would fight whatever was in Vikes, uh, Everjail. Uh, because it's, you know, usually, like, almost always a quick and easy 100k so like you get some levels but it takes several minutes so like I don't think it's necessarily worth it um, I realize too I mean I'm definitely wasting time grabbing graces um, or perceptually grab wasting time but uh, we've also been pretty lucky in that we haven't gotten suddenly ganked by stuff while riding torrent um, this whole run. It, it doesn't happen super often, to be completely honest, but, um, where, like, it'll actually kill you, but, uh, unlike a speed run, speed run, where you just, I mean, you know the enemies in your path, like, and you don't know if you're gonna go around the corner, there's gonna be three rune bears, or two rune bears, and a crow, or, you know, whatever. You might just get suddenly, I've, I've gotten, like, double teamed by dogs, just, uh, well, not that sort of double team, obviously, but, um, uh, just, like, turning around a corner. Um, they both came at me from two different angles, and I was like, uh, and just got completely caught off guard. Oh, yes, I forgot. Yeah, so normally you would not want to ride through this way just because uh, there's a giant hand in vanilla Elden Ring, but in this, there is another giant hand, obviously. Um, so you can just ride on through, not get smushed. Uh, there's an item over there, it's purple. Why not? Oh boy, holy sh Wow, that uh... It always throws me off how much damage that attack does, even at normal. Huh? Is that a legendary, y'all? Haha, <laughs> good call. So as I was saying, it clearly favors bosses. Uh... Definitely not the Phantom Trees, even though we've picked up three of the five from Phantom Trees. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, it feels like that, but it may just be my kind of own gut feeling. Um, I'll be honest, I don't even know if I've ever gotten a great run from that specific tree. Obviously, you're going to get invaded here. But at this point, the fact that there's there's a lot of bosses between us and just the end of the game. Um, oh, no, it's a Juno. Shit. Uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on, my guy. I'm going to make sure that I get this grace, so if I... He's not really why we're here. Oh, man. Oh, come on, man. Fuck.
Probably my least favorite NPC fight in the game. Try and drink, guy. I'm just gonna eat this so I. can level up once more. Not really sure what we're gonna be walking into. Cause uh most two phase bosses, as you could probably pick up uh if you've been watching, if you watch randomizers in general, most two phase bosses are two bosses. Or two phases of bosses, if they are separate models with the exception being Godric and Millennia. Real Moog, okay. Is this is actual music? This is actual music, isn't it? Oh boy. Charge attack off. Mm, the slope, bro. Whoa, okay. this phase. Whoa, oh my god. Okay. Phase one done. That slope with the blood flame. Oh boy. That was brutal. Ah, my boy. Oh no. Man, this is yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier when I was saying this best track. God, the damage on this is surprising. I mean, like, I know it's plus 25, but all the same, it's... It's not, you know, just to be keen or anything like that, so... level ups uh, check real quick and make sure of how long I've been recording and just see what the good cutoff point would be okay I think 
I think this shall be a good cutoff point for this episode. You know, finish off with Fire Giant. Go burn the Erdtree next time. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.